Here we are. And a lot of wind we have. So. Oh my god. Topic of the day. This shall be well more of the utmost importance. I have a few key points written down for what we need to talk about today. I'm not even sure what the title will be because there's so much information going on lately that it's just like, I don't know. And it's not easy because it's uh, coming from all angles. We have a new availability for the new feeling of what love is. That might be confusing to those that love one, for those that love many, or many love many. Because we don't know what that is, because we haven't lived that yet. We can't describe it. We can't assume, because we don't have the experience to explain what that is, because it's, it's being born. And uh, the new earth merger is the uh, futuristic selves, our uh, purposeful being, shall merge with us. That's the plan, nothing else matters. So, um, I wanted to call the video Fear, False Evidence Appearing Real, or Fabricated Evidence Appearing Real. As in what hasn't happened to you, in fact, hasn't happened to you. So, um, a few key points will enable me to, you want to call it, channel this right, is um, the channel to me means that I'm accessing my archive of my high, highest aspect in all of the being. I am Ralph, I have remembrance of being Ralph. I don't use that as a fancy name. And I will do what I did in the past, bring back light technologies that are based on mere light light amplified to the point that it hasn't even reached earth yet in the coming in the making i don't claim titles because i'm not a leader i lead my life and i lead myself i serve the listener i hope to inspire for the individual to get in action to do what you have to do for your sake okay so exercise the right for your peace and your freedom Know this, that in the end, the earth will ascend, we receive upgrades, not downgrades. So the doom and gloom stay out of it. The politics or polished tricks stay out of it. Discussions will make no sense, it will only get worse. To be apologetic for your doings makes sense in your actions that conjure that forth will cease to exist. So it's not about being, about I apologize, you're forgiven. Forgive yourself as we forgive you. Don't do. Look at yourself and how you're living and how transparent you are in communication to others. And can you spend time with your kind, your families, those soul kin that relate to you without making anyone upset? Can you be that sensitive that what you feel and what you have with you and your inner works, you handle with yourself and you do not throw it at other people? First steps. The safest place for you to be right now is God's home, which is your heart center. No image exists there. Words can't reach there. Worlds do not even exist there. There's pure consciousness, a beam of light, and nothing else matters. No mission, no plan, no assumption, no belief structure, no time, space, or place exists there. Everything. That's why I'm recording here. If 
feel stuck, climb through the chasm. Get out, find a way, because there's always a way out. Have the awareness. And the best shield to have is awareness. So when you talk about protection, don't put yourself in a seal as you need to protect the parameter because the parameter limits your space of awareness. Expand your total being, expand your awareness. And when you want to be safe traveling, tell it to yourself four times. Christic awareness. Christic awareness. Christic awareness. Christic awareness. Christic meaning Christ all crystal. This is what you are, a crystal is light. That means all unconscious parts of yourself shall be lit up. There's no light. Bring light there. Talk about it. Be clear about it. Be yourself. Code. Problem. Solution. Rewrite the code. You have to understand. Darkness will try everything it can to lure you into false realities of being to trap your soul in 3D. It is very tricky and very sneaky how it can emulate the closest thing to light and portray itself as an angel. We can go beyond angels. The main thing is not a picture and not an image, it's your heart. What do you feel at the end of days? How do you feel? Use discernment. Right now, who's talking to you? Who's your friend? Who wages war? Who wants peace? Who for weapons, who tells you you must, who is sitting in silence, waiting for you to ask, suggesting, you're smart enough to know what you feel and what you should listen to. If you look at a person from a perspective that there's failure all the time, obligated to trust that person to help that person trust yourself you don't have to trust nothing but yourself and your intuition that will guide you the way the subconscious mind is a very powerful tool so as we been subject to TV radio and all these airwave thingies that they send throughout space to influence you subconscious mind can give you a job to do that doesn't lie here, for it claims it lies in the ether, but there's no power that the etheric world has over the spirit, over the uh, three-dimensional world. There are ideas, patterns, and thoughts, and suggestions, and things that uh, are here somewhere. So I say the power of that, you know, you can say this and see where the power lies of that is what is. If there's any spirit or any being that has the power to come from the ether right now in physical form to move my wand right now, you may do so. See, there's a law that governs all. No one is allowed to come in physical form right now to move anything. If this would move, I would even be replaced. But it's not moving. That means whatever you think you know, you do not know. No. Whatever you act out becomes physical. The only conduit that makes things physical in a three-dimensional world is you. That's how you anchor three-dimensional aspects. The way I created the keys was I asked how I can help the world and how can, how can I redirect energies and bring more light to it that you can, your body align and I was suggested mildly and asked very gently by my highest version of myself which is the highest holistic principle of myself nothing else but me and the source 
I'm not even going dimensions. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All of this is confusion. Because what, what does dimension ten give you? What does dimension five, six, seven tell you? What does that mean if somebody is a seventh dimensional being? Right now, I say nobody has the capacity to talk to a seventh dimensional being because you can't even fathom it. That's my take, that's my exploration. We can talk to the higher dimensions, we can go to all altered states, but that is tricky as well. Are you clear in your subconscious mind? Are you clear in your conscious mind? Are your channels clear and how do you know? The only thing you know is whatever you draw on a piece of paper will be because you are the one that manifests here, because you are the co-creator by law that is untouched. Everything else around you is an illusion. If you can't put pieces together that work at the end of the day and function and serve mankind, it's an illusion. If it's not sustainable and self-sufficient and self-efficient, what is it? An illusion. And all of this will fall apart. The uh, subconscious mind works in a very, very powerful thing, a powerful state of being. I call it holographic dream characters projected from the subconscious mind. Your own internal Hollywood. Archetypical programs emulating higher consciousness beings. This is a trap. Don't fall for it. If you have a being telling you you must go somewhere without you asking, and it's not suggesting and it's pressuring you, question it. Because they can emulate anything that you have learned on this planet, what an angel is, what a demon is, what a devil is, and trust me, the devil will be a chipmunk in your backyard, for all I care. You think he will come in an archetypical form that you know he's a demon because you know what a demon looks like? Nah. He will even come as an extraterrestrial being with a craft telling you all the things you want to hear to please your ego, but trust your heart at the end of days. Trust who is contacting you. I know where my trust lies because for I know the Arcturians never establish that. They don't come down here because it's not allowed to manifest down here. What we have to do is we have to raise the frequency and meet them <clears throat> at a, what you will call it a common denominator where they can come in and we walked the way up and we have to do the work. Accept the truth. Accept the truth for what it is and speak the truth for what it is. If you go around it, it'll, it'll haunt you, it'll smack you, it'll rearrange itself around you to realign you so you're on your path. And the more you resist, the harder it will be. The more you fight it, the more you get smashed. The more you think you keep on trucking the way you're trucking, you're heading for an accident. Not as in that I'm projecting anything bad, but the universe right now is trying its best to align your path. So you stay on your path. This is what I'm getting. Try your best to speak up for yourself and do not cooperate with lies. Because there's no cooperation with lies. Because it doesn't exist. You give away power and you give away your power to the external. Expansion without compromising others expanding. Be in action. Don't be rebellious as in screaming and running into places where you become a target or a subject to violence. It's more, if we come together peacefully and productively, bringing in new ways and ushering new energies to be perceived, we can affect the field. Because if we come together in peace, respecting the law, as all powers that be are fading, you come into power as you withdraw yourself from where the conflict is. Not meaning that you don't face conflict or you don't have to face conflict, you know. Whatever you have to talk about, you have to talk about it. But do it in a peaceful manner. Speak the truth, act in truth, live the truth. I myself sometimes I'm afraid to speak my truth and say what I feel because I don't want, want others to get mad. That's the trap. That's where they get us. This is where we actually have to learn. Be independent. When you go shopping, be a conscious person. What is needed? What do I need right now? The possible future. I see the possible future as a unified 
Earth Council, UEC. Transform the power dynamic and create futuristic sketches about how we want to create life. thankful that I have the sight, even in dream state, to see what's what, that I'm shown what's what. The message is, you all have the chance to ascend. You all have a choice, whether you work for the government, whether you work for secret operations, whatever power structure you work for, you have now the choice make the right choice for the planet, because for every choice that you do not make, there will be a consequence. And when this window of opportunity closes, and I don't know if you're aware of this, or those out there that don't believe, when it closes, you will go through memory wipes, you will forget that this ever took place, and you will, will reincarnate and having to learn that again. Maybe another 26,765 year cycle. If you think about it, using your conscience, I don't think you want to go there, actually. So, to those that are still working a corrupt business, for those that still lie and cheat, how can you go to sleep at night with that on your conscience of what you do? How can you actually do that? And I'm not saying I'm a saint or I'm innocent. Throughout the incarnations, we did it all. We've been in rage, we've been in vengeance, there was killing, slaughtering. I remember many lifetimes I was killed. So I'm, I'm, I'm at a point like, what it, what, what, what's the purpose, you know? What, 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 what shall that be or create fear? I, mean, I said that in another video that half of my family is in the cemetery, the earthly one. I was born from a coma. I had at least four NDEs near death experiences. I've seen the other side. And uh, I'm not scared, why would I be? With all this illusion and trickery they try to put down on us and into us to manipulate us into their ways so they can sustain something that is not sustainable is to me. Use your mind. Use your intelligence. The heart is not impressed with trick knowledge. Technology based on parasitic ways and maneuvers to take stuff away from us. We're here for what we want to do is we wish to be accepted for who we are and what we do in loving ways. Like babies. Like newborns. And we don't have to be accepted. That's the story of our lives. And I really want to use the application of the dream creation in the now, not remaining in a dream state of dreaming of possibilities that never take place. I want to, which, which is what I'm actively doing, and people that sense it and feel it as I'm talking to you, I'm sending all the love that I have for you, more love than you can fathom, that I want for you to feel that, that you're forgiven, you're loved in ways you can't even understand yet. For all that you do, for all that you create and why you're here, we love you so much. And you're free. There's no concept. You're not bound. You're free mind. And when all else doesn't make sense in life, as stormy weather, meditate, get away from everything, don't talk to no one, don't assume anything, don't think, don't believe that whatever you will do or whatever you did has this and such consequence because it's an illusion. The only truth that you, that you have is to realize what takes place before your eyes and if that took place, 
Take note. Use your awareness to see it for what it is and see how you feel and you will be on your way. And for whatever this path shall lead you, you shall be. And people say, uh, God and all of these religious concepts of what God is and spiritualism and esoteric, all of these words, get away from these words. I'm not saying I'm a light worker, I'm not saying I'm esoteric, I'm, I'm not saying I'm spiritual. What I'm saying today is, I am real, I am with you, I am here, I am now. I am that I am. Pure consciousness, light from the source, in a carbon-based carrier. No label, no sticker, no politics, no polished tricks, nothing. And that will create the new here and the now. And that is the only thing that matters. Mind over matter. No mind or matter, as they say. And some people say, oh, you shouldn't be materialistic. Without material, I couldn't make this video. Without material, we wouldn't have the internet. Without the matter, I all, I wouldn't have the mother that brings into form, that nourishes us. It's the mother. It's the mater. Mater. Material. It is here for us. We need to understand the words. One, one, one. That's on the periodic table. Hydrogen. That's the power that runs your system. That's how water hydrates you. 666, what is that? It's carbon. It's your connection. It's you. And they try to tell you triple six is the devil and it's the beast and all that stuff. They're trying to curse the human man. You are. The sensitive, the feeling, the divine feminine aspect that has to speak and come forth. And I want to see more females coming out, stepping into their role, talking about what needs to be talked about. Because we need you out there to help guide the way to this original plane. Where we're going. And I have backup. And I have more, more beings coming in. And I'm very glad that I met these beings. They are all very powerful beings. And I'm listening to them. And I'm learning to them. And from the masculine aspect that is being balanced out, there's much to learn as the divine feminine comes in. And don't misunderstand divine feminine or androgynous. It is a state of being, not a state of gender. Don't get that confused. Don't base love on sex. Don't get that confused. It starts in the heart. It doesn't start in the Kundalini. It connects this. It connects the higher spheres. And then it connects this. And then this connects with the opposite, creating uh, a visca, Pisces. That's when energies blend and when energies match, worlds are created. That's how universes are being born. So at the end of days, or the beginning of days, don't fall for the trickery, do not fall for the illusion. Be real with your self, with your intravidual being that is a wonderful being that is. And it, it'll be evident who's channeling a lot of theory that's hardly being applied in those that actually will come and I will make a video about this So, The city of light. Bubble homes out of photonic concrete, meaning enlightened substance of crystalline power that will emanate the frequency you need to be in a healing environment, meaning surround yourself with tones, like based on a 432 hertz sound. Surround yourself with tonal scales that are productive for you. Um, that are in harmony with your DNA. Listen to sounds that are for you. Have oils that are for you. Everything in harmony with you. Surround yourself with color that is for you and with you. Give yourself fresh air. Be in nature. <coughs> Decalcify your pineal gland using scape liver oil. Get minerals for those teeth grinders and root canal people. You know what I'm talking about. Get magnesium. You're grinding teeth because you're lacking magnesium and you go there to get the magnesium and calcium out of your teeth, thus destroying your construct because you have deficiencies. Scan yourself. Fight the 
parasites in your system that the doctor won't find, but you still have them. I'm working on a concept to have all major parasitic information. Um, that's the correct term, parasitic major parasite. It's family to remove that, to free your mind, because the, the parasite could be like a circuit breaker at any time you try to awaken, it's gonna go and attack your system and you can't you can't go into acceleration mode. You can't go into pineal gland activation. Be careful if you say you can activate one's pineal gland, because if your pineal gland is activated, you will have a different speech parameter. A different speech code will come out. At certain levels, you will do that. Some people will understand, some people won't. It's like it comes from the subconscious. That's when you shift. It's called star language. They called it speaking in tongues. It's natural. You can write it. You write it from right to left, and you can speak it. Nasama ukayama isete de ke eshe te ama asa kaeta emiwa kia tiuma se mataya usumuwa katemia ato. What I speak, you feel in your heart. For it to be the truth that I speak, and when I speak truth, you get goosebumps because I'm in resonance with the truth that is embedded in your cell structure. That doesn't make me a leader. That means I'm serving you. I am the aspect of your consciousness that is serving you wishing to inspire you that you can take the lead in your life and you find your soul groups and you show them the way that they be on their path to do what they have to do. And that's all why we're here for. That's all we have to do. That's our job. And that's these energies that we give back to the people. So I don't use an external force or an external name. I am myself. I am Ra. I am light. I am that I am. I am you. I create, I co-create, and I'm allowed to be here, and look at what's done in the physical, no spiritual promises, no download that can't be computed or brought into a formula and brought forth into three-dimensional existence makes sense right now. The only thing that makes sense is the action that you bring forth right now, the way you conduct yourself around people right now. If you use them, if you lie to them, or you speak the truth, and you're being transparent. Be open and surrender to love for your loved. And that's when I feel I should end the video. This is what I had to say. This is what you need to hear from me. I'm in contact with, all those that I talk, talk to, whether we argue or not, different opinions we have, or not, I love you the same.